I think any woman that has a sense of passion and purpose that really wants to make a difference in the world, when they have an opportunity to be in another part of the world with powerful women, even if they don't know who they are yet, yes, they want to come. We co-taught a class on cross-cultural communication and, and giving women that competitive edge. And we had a man in our class, which was fascinating, um, who loved our presentation. Mr. Bupendra Shabri, who we had the pleasure of meeting yesterday, he was here as the moderator for one of the opening inaugural panels at this very historic event in Goa, India, where women, foremost thought leaders from around the world, have gathered to discuss some of the most important topics from religion to domestic violence against women to racism, of course the economy. So tell me a little bit about how you got involved in the Women's Economic Forum, being that you're a man, and I know you're a famous journalist it's, here. Isn't it amazing, isn't it amazing, you know? Uh, and I was thinking about this uh, yesterday while, while we were doing the session, that this is the All Ladies League, this is the Women's Economic Forum, and here is a man like me who's been asked to do the inaugural session. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yes, it was, a, it was a unique experience for me. Because I've created this amazing lifestyle that I can be with my family, my children, my father, my whoever, my sisters, my sisterhood, my girlfriend, my business partners. I have a choice every single day, and I never have to ask anybody for permission. Not a man, not a kid, no one. The only conversation I have is with God every single day. And that's the conversation I have for setting up. God, just let me be a vessel today. Put the people in my path today that you want me to touch. And that's the prayer I have every day and why I believe that I attract so many amazing women into my life because God sees the connections and they come in the most amazing gifts each day.